in his game. All right, in the top left we do have Epic, and in the bottom right is Rebellion. Rebellion just coming over a victory against the super cheesy patches, but a series I really enjoyed and really showed off how good his crisis management can be. And even though he went with a far behind economic build in game number two, he, uh, sorry, game number three, he really made it work um, with some excellent unit movement and rotations across the map. So let's see, Epic is a different brand of Terran though, and he is quite high up on the ladder as well, so uh, nothing, of course nothing to take away here from Patches, he played a very excellent series in my opinion, um, but Epic is going to be the tougher opponent here between these two, so let's see how Rebellion is going to fare against him. This is going to be a two racks opening, so again a little bit cheesy of an opening, this can be a lot of things of course, Reapers is what comes to mind first, but there can be a 3 racks follow up, there can be a Marauder push with this. This is not proxied though, so it's not as like crazy as uh, Patches super proxy in game number 2 for example, the two proxied factories <laughs> with the reactor and the tech lab producing tanks and cyclones kind of going super crazy. I really love that strategy actually. Um, but yeah, so far it's gonna be just a couple of Reapers coming online here, and I, I'm interested to see what Epic's plan is behind this, but he usually does throw a second base up and running very fast, and there we go. The SCV is already moving out, and uh, yeah, Rebellion just coming from that series against Patches, I think it's gonna make him think twice now. He's gonna play super defensive, he's gonna throw down extra shield batteries most likely, and uh, he's gonna be super on his guard. So let's see what he can do here. I think this is gonna be a three racks follow up. There we go, yeah. Third racks. So it's only gonna be a couple of Reapers. Oh, third. Excuse me, is on the way here. To control the map a little bit, see if he can maybe catch a probe. He could kill Adepts with this as well. If you micro collect correctly, you can uh, definitely shut those down. And this scouting adept is going to be in a little bit of trouble because Epic is waiting for it. But actually moving out of position here, just an unfortunate timing. Rebellion also does not see those Reapers. There's nothing at home right now, so this SCV is going to get shut down. And let's see what the um, Reapers can actually do. Oh, 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 I was thinking, wow, you can actually go ahead into the main base. And he sees those Reaper now. He's got to pull back the adept. The SCV is still building. Oh, this is such a great win here for Epic, actually. Already happening. Small. A small, tiny win, but it's already worth so much. He's gonna lose the first Reaper. He did trade half of health from that. Stalker's gonna get a couple probes and a full scout. He's gonna find out about the Twilight. He's gonna see the second gate, of course, in the front here. And maybe he can grab one more probe. That would be amazing. He's gonna go ahead and do so. There we go. He's gonna fall here. And uh, unfortunately, this is going to be the last of the Reapers. Oh, can he get one more probe? You should definitely micro this probe. Yeah, he's going to lose it. And oh, that's such an unfortunate thing to happen. He's going to get one more extra. Wow, five probes for three Reapers. That's definitely worth it here. That's a lot of damage happening. And you can see already SCVs ahead in favor of Epic. I think Epic is going to have a very strong mid-game uh, mid timing push here. Against Rebellion. Let's see what Rebellion can do. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down a Robo. You can always go back to play two base Colossus. Try and be safe here until you take your third base. And Rebellion. I don't know now at this point. His um, opponent is a little bit stronger in the decision making and um, mo army movement rotations than his earlier opponent. Of course this force was spotted moving out so Rebellion has all the information he needs for now to stop. Oh if he lets these finish <gasps> they are just gonna get caught. Oh that's definitely a mistake here happening. He's gonna lose both of these adepts so only giving him five stalkers. Those adepts would have been great to tank some of these marauder shots. I mean look at this five marauders right? There's a lot of marauders. He grabs a couple sentries, which I really like. There's no medivacs with this. 
And Epic might he scans this, he checks for the third. He's gonna check the other third location, and he might just go home. Preserve his army. I'm gonna see though, he's grabbing currently concussive, he does not have it yet, so he should definitely be very careful here. Maybe take the high ground again, stand on that ramp for a while. Until you get your concussive and then you can move back home. But yeah, he's just gonna go ahead and preserve his army. I really love these choices. He's someone who is kind of... I mean... He's not a very famous player, even though he's one of the longest and a top echelon players. Um, he, he's still like lacking his international super big breakthrough, right? Where he goes to like, oh, this is a guy we see at every tournament or something, right? Um, but he is someone which I've casted a lot and I've seen a lot of games from him. He, is, he definitely stands out in this point. He's very preservative with his units. He really likes to... Like, if he does not find an opening, he's not going to force one. He's going to go ahead and just keep his units and keeps on growing. He's kind of like a... I don't know. It's, it's a very special um, attitude he has in the game there. Way of playing, which I really enjoy to see because it makes him so much stronger into the mid game and into the late, early late game. And as you can see, this this force is pushing out right now, and we do have the other force coming from the back here, rotating around. And he's gonna go ahead and stim. If he catches all of these stalkers, he does have concussive. He's gonna slow down, gonna get three, five stalkers. Oh my god! And the only one is gonna go ahead and <laughs> return to the base. And that's what you, that's what you're looking at. It's four blink stalkers now. It's not eight. With this army on nine, it's only four. So he should get a cancel on this base. Beautiful army rotation here from Epic. Just preserving his army for the follow up push. Like not even taking damage. He's not he wasn't really poking. He lost like one marine. And a little bit of health. And that was it. Great stuff here from Epic. And yeah, that makes it so he's he's taking like small leads here and here and there and there. And this is really propelling him more and more into a better situation for the mid game here. Third base is gonna get set up and on the other side Rebellion needs to restart his and he, he hasn't done it. He's like afraid of the all-in. He's throwing down panic gateways right now. And finally the Nexus is gonna come online. This is, an, this is a 7 minute 45 second Nexus from a Protoss. A third base. This is so late. And Epic on the other side, man, his command set is finished, it's done so. Before the 8 minute mark, he's gonna have a double Viking production, Widowmites coming online, he's gonna go ahead and take his 5 racks setup, and uh, we do have the Ghost Academy about to be online, there is no, there is plus 1 already finished. So everything, everything's there. Getting plus 2, uh, sorry, plus 1 armor here, his second upgrade, he's gonna get, uh, go ahead and get the first couple ghosts, and he's gonna go ahead and make Vikings now. Of a Viking production. I really want to see him stack up to like six Vikings before I really tries to commit again. So he can uh, go ahead and focus down those Colossus rather easily. But I like this leap. A rebellion is gonna go ahead and say, "All right, if I cannot have a strong army, fighting army, I'm gonna go ahead and get the one-hit wonder army with the disruptors." And I think it's a good choice. Oh, good reaction here by Epic. Gonna see that. He's not gonna lose his army to one random disruptor. He'd like to try though from Rebellion. He has the vision with the Observer, of course, here. So, uh, good idea. Unfortunately, a little bit too good is Epic. He needs to keep that disruptor shot. He only is sitting at two disruptors. So, this is a. Oh! We do see a EMP, big EMP here going down onto the army. And uh, yeah, the, <laughs> Epic is just gonna go ahead and go into the main base. He's gonna lose a couple of reinforcements here. We do see a recall into the main base. I like the choice. It's gonna split his army though. Let's see what he can do. If he can actually correctly surround his army. The, the, the army on the ramp is gonna get completely destroyed. Let's see how the army from the main base is gonna do. We do see one disruptor hit actually dealing a lot of damage. But I think it's not gonna be enough meat here from Rebellion. He's gonna lose the game to this push perfectly executed by Epic. Wow, what a great game. Epic really looking good there. Kind of staying ahead of his opponent every and each step of the game here.
Oh, if this actually finishes fast, I might be able to... We might be able to jump into Hon Mono against Quanta. Um, I'm not as hyped about casting a TVT, but... I guess I haven't been casting a lot of TVTs recently, so... I don't mind. But yeah. Um, it would be very great to see whoever wins that go up, go up against Dark. And the bottom right, it is epic though, first here. Needs to finish off the series and this man in the bottom top left and it is Rebellion indeed. <clears throat> so, Rebellion a little bit unfortunate with his first adepts and his army movement in general. Getting caught by epic, basically. He lost, what, five stalkers and two adepts for nothing. Literally nothing, not even health. And Epic was never gonna let go of that lead. He was so far ahead in the army department, he managed to sneak a economic advantage for himself from that as well. Of course, he did finish, uh, he did execute three, sorry, five probes with three Reapers in the early game. He's even gonna see this a uh, little bit weird scouting pattern and <laughs> he's gonna identify, oh yeah, that was a probe. It actually stopped at this location, so if this probe does not show up to his base, he's gonna know in what corner to look for a proxy. Oh, this might be a Stargate. Might be a Stargate proxy, but I don't think so, he does not have the second gas. Just gonna go ahead and scout now. But yeah, this could have been a proxy attempt here from Rebellion. Does not seem that this is gonna be the way though. Gonna go ahead and throw down his Nexus. I like this choice. Gonna go for the longer game here. Epic is gonna go for a little bit of a different opening. It's not gonna be the double Rax Reaper here. Three Reapers into three Rax. Uh, it's gonna be a rather standard opening. We do see a marine and a reactor behind this factory going up as well. There's no second gas yet, so he might just go ahead and throw down his third CC very early and easy. I'm pretty sure he hasn't scout. Oh, he did um, scout the natural, and that's all he needed to know. All right, there's your natural. And I can go ahead and get whatever I want. He's gonna go ahead and get a Hellion first here and go into the Stargate. As well as the extra gas, so not gonna go for the super quick 3cc opening here. Adapt going across the map here. Gonna find the Marine. He could actually go ahead and try to fight that one, but... Gonna play safe, he doesn't know. Reinforcements should be very close to popping out and this he exactly identifies what is on the field here nice shade oh this is a very dangerous position for a twilight council if i've ever seen one i'm gonna get blink most likely out of this but yeah <laughs> this is so, so exposed a lot of hellions being produced here going up to three hellions there we go yeah of course the medivac So this is gonna be a Hellion drop, or a Marine drop, with the Hellion run by. There's a lot of opportunities, you can elevate, uh, you can you can do a lot of things. At first, of course, the Hellions are gonna be faster, so he's gonna run the Hellions and drop the Marines for now. But he can always swap around his units. And we do get the extra warp in round here from Rebellion, it's gonna bring him up to three Stalkers, one Adept. And this is gonna be enough to defend this. And yeah, probe, first probe, trying to get the third base, it's gonna get blasted down here, and... Epic is trying to push the front, but there's a shield battery, there is an overcharge available, so this should not get broken. Marines are gonna stay and fight here, though, to try and uh, keep the attention there away, and the real damage is gonna be these Hellions getting dropped into the main base, they're already focusing down six probes here, make it eight, if he can get one more shot... Ah, oh, he's gonna try and drop the last shot. Oh my god, he's gonna get two more. Can he get one more? Wow, make it 11. He's gonna sacrifice the medevac though for this. It is a super good opening though here for Epic again. Getting so many workers. Even though if the actual resource value is not that good for him. It is so much. Like 11 out of 40 
uh, probes. What is that? That's like 25% economy you just wrecked from your opponent. And now if you sit defensive, he gets up this bunker. He has a tank, he has a raven, he has a second tank, which he's gonna put on the high ground, please. There you go, epic. He's actually putting it very defensively into his base, which I don't hate because those do have blink. He's gonna pull some marines into his main base. He does have the bunker completed now. I'm gonna sit this with a raven, so if, the, if a blink on top of the bunker is gonna happen, he's gonna throw down a auto turret to assist in extra damage. And of course he can go ahead and snipe. This is like safe against DTs. This is good against observers. If any observers are gonna go in, he's gonna find those. And the tank in the main is gonna poke away at these stalkers who are trying to get as many economic damage as they can, but I mean... Two SUVs out of 46, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Raven is even gonna go across the map now. Try to find some extra harassment here. We do see the Templar Archives this time. So even though there is a Robo, there is not gonna be a robotic support bay, so he's not gonna be Colossus. Could be... Well, he's getting charge and storm. There we go, so it's gonna be charged with storm. Third CC here, barracks number th four and five. And Raven is gonna go in now. Stim is about to hit the field. He's gonna find the Templar archives being researching stuff. He's gonna actually focus. Oh, he, uh, he did not focus, but lucky pairing here for him on those two hurt probes. He's gonna get three. And maybe gonna throw down one more. He wants to get the probe. He wants to have the probes back mining first. <laughs> If a Templar gets warped, I, I wouldn't mind it like a feedback Templar right now. He already has Templars gathering energy for him. Oh, by the way, he did lose a Stalker here, which we just saw floating off screen. Gonna find the Adept as well. And there we go, Raven coming in again, perfect time. He's gonna get four more kills, so make it seven. Good harassment again. And one more auto turret. But it's not gonna get... What he's looking for. Shield battery is already done. And Storm is finished, so this push is in danger. I'm gonna find a gateway. Epic is someone who, who would be willing to actually just pull back. It's the gate. He's like, alright, tiny lead for me again. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull back. Oh, he's gonna try and snipe a template. He's gonna find the template. He's only losing this guy. Only this guy vanishing into nothing here, actually, before he can float to the surface. But this warp prism is very dangerous, trying to come in from two angles here now. Wow, that's a good storm here. Second one is not as great, but it's going to keep the marines off to fight here. So they need to go ahead and pull back a little bit more. Getting healed up here very nicely, but I think this push is going to get broken by Rebellion. Good stuff here from our Protoss player. Very well done. The Raven also did get pulled into the action and did almost fly over the defenses here from Rebellion, so... Good thing on Epic that he managed to pull that one back in time. This this one now we do have... Oh, the Ghost here, and he's not gonna get the War Prism though, I think. He also does not get this Observer, which is very unfortunate. Would also be a nice target here. He does have the MPs, but the actual fighting power is not that big. But we're completely focusing on Rebellion side of the map, he, who's kind of hanging on on three bases. He's not looking terrible, but he's also not looking great, to be honest. And on the other side, Epic is looking great. He's really transitioning into the next step, making Vikings against, well, the Prism. He's throwing down a bunker against Runbys. He has his third base fully saturated. He th should throw down a fourth base any second now. He's going to come in again with a Raven. I wouldn't mind an auditor try to focus on the shield battery. There we go. Going to go ahead and try to take that one. Needs to be careful with his main army though. He's going to throw down a couple of EMPs here. Oh, nice mine into those Zealots. He does have still two more EMPs. He's kind of waiting for those Templars who are not really showing up. And a non AOE army is just going to lose in the straight up engage. And there we go. Epic is going to take the series here. Very well done by him. So, unfortunately, Rebellion is going to throw out of the tournament.